What's up guys, I just wanted to make a quick video today to show you how you can migrate your existing Unreal Engine 4 projects into UE5 Early Access. First, you're going to want to update your Epic Games Launcher and then head over to the UE5 tab. There you can download Unreal Engine 5 Early Access. Once that's done, you can launch it just like any other Unreal Engine 4 version. Just go to your library and then it should show up right next to your other installs. So click launch. So here's how the new launcher interface looks. What we're gonna to wanna to do is go to recent projects. You should see your UE4 projects here. If you don't, go to browse and you should be able to find your project. So go ahead and click open. Now this is gonna inform you that the project was made with a different version of Unreal. It's gonna recommend that you open as a copy. What that's gonna do is make a copy of the project. So it'll have the same name as the current project with a 5.0 appended at the end. I recommend you go this route. Uh, there are other options such as convert in place or skip conversion. Um, I would only recommend those if you're running source control and you're just really low on, on hard drive space, but I'd probably still recommend opening as a copy just to be on the safer side. So now that this is open, you should see a notification here that the project file is out of date. Um, go ahead and click update. I'm not really sure what this does, but it seems to work fine. So go ahead and hit play here and test it out. So this is my grappling hook project and it should work just as it did before. I'll leave a link down below to the migration guide so you can read it for yourself. Uh, if you're running blueprint only, you should be good to go. There are some other considerations to make for C++ developers. So definitely read through this and see if there's anything in here that applies to you. One thing of note is the physics and chaos physics systems. So PhysX is actually going away in UE5, so if you're running PhysX and you intend to go to UE5, I highly recommend you switch over to Chaos and you know tweak the value so that it matches what you had before, before you switch over to UE5. 